okay. I, I found the secret of the Kerala tea. Why it was quite sweet. So this is amount of sugar. It's it's added to the to the pot before doing. Very nice, very nice experience. But uh, probably we are not changing coffee. Tea. Mm. Coffee, tea, Point coffee, tea. What is the weight scale here? Coffee. We stay in coffee. All right. Bye bye. So here we are in a bean journey. We are we are actually heading to Palmari Estate uh, in Tamil Nadu. Yeah. This is a development because we have a car and we have a driver. Because we usually always use the public transport uh, as bus and trains, but this time we were a little bit on the on a schedule and a little bit out of the normal route, so that's why we take this kind of a luxury, luxury ride. That is very nice. We are the only ones left uh, on the jeep. It's a good sign because actually, the, why we are also interested about Palmari is that it is a um, it is on a high highest estate on this range of uh, on this uh, range of the mountain. So basically, there's no it's organic and it's uh, Demeter. But it's also that there's no other farms very near, so there's no polluting sources of uh, the, the neighbor farms, and also the water is pure because there's nothing above the farm. So as you can see, we start to get closer. Maybe it's about 20 minutes still. Uh, we have to use this highway to get there, but we will. Okay, we arrived to Palmari Estate. So the driver is opening the gate. The gate is keeping the elephants out. And it's so nice here. So we arrived to Palmari Estate, very magical place I would say. So this is our, our place to stay, we, they give us shelter here and a little bit of food, that is very nice. Um, so it's beautiful old house and here is our, our room our dorm to stay a couple of nights and we have um, also a kitchen here some food it's a dinner time Unna is coming and the Unna is the the lady of the house the manager oh Unna Hello. You need the price to run the estate. Yeah. So that's a yeah. very good comment he made. His father has grown, grown a lot of eucalyptus here. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Eucalyptus plantation. Wilson, Wilson plantation. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I lost that too.
So he's the supervisor also of the of the estate, but also a great chef. We can see. <laughs> and actually, my my job is to do the coffee. So we have we have here a little bit roasted roasted coffee, local coffee, Palmadi Estate coffee. The Unna, the estate owner, he she actually like go to the local roastery to roast a little bit coffee. So my job is to be barista here today and uh, make some coffee for everyone. Looks like a beautiful morning and we get ready to go around and see the estate life also today. And here is the Unna, the owner. Good morning. <laughs> estate so here we are going around the estate and we see a lot of actually some Arabic guys still here oh. so what were the main varieties of you uh, we have uh, Kent uh, selection 795 Moor, and Chandragiri and recently we have planted some robusta. Yeah. It will take another two years to yield. We don't have the crop yet. And the shadow, so you say like, um, how did you call the layers of the shadow? Shade, uh, shade, shade, shade tree. Shade trees, we have uh, um, the fig. We have fig, silver oak, jackfruit, mm. and uh, African neem, hill neem. Uh, Mahogany, uh, cedar, uh, rosewood, and uh, the shola trees. No, a lot of forest uh, trees we have. So uh, that uh, that is the first level of uh, the tall shade. Yeah. Then we have the lower level shade, which is mostly Erythrina, What we see here, this is the dadips, and uh, uh, mostly it is this uh, Erythrina dadips, where the leaves are very good. You know, they give the nitrogen for the plants. So now you quite a lot of focus into focus into that that you put more like lower shade trees. Lower shade and uh, upper level shade because the tall takes about uh, 50 years to Get establish. Grow. So and every year we lose 100 big trees. So when when you have the heavy rains and winds in July August we lose about 100 trees yeah. every year, which is a big uh, loss for us because our our uh, Mm, strength lies in our trees so we want to you know plant every year we plant more than uh, 500 trees uh, not all survive uh, but you know it's an it's a rotation it's a yeah. cycle that we have to keep replanting <laughs> to uh, keep them so the the silver oaks they stand tall, tall and, and stand strong yeah but the smaller shadow trees are the thing it's nice it looks beautiful so here is, and the process process was full washed honey, yeah, ESD, and the natural, and natural. natural. Do you find the naturals uh, is more challenging to keep the uh, keep the fermentation control, or when the weather is good, when the when you have bright sunshine, it's no problem. It's only when we have, uh, you know, days when they're very cloudy yeah. or it's wet, then we don't know how to handle the cherry. Yeah. We, if we have to run and uh, uh, cover it yeah. before yeah. it uh, rains, there's a slight drizzle. Um, it shouldn't get fungus. Yeah. So all these are the challenges that we have. And you still have a mechanical dryer, but for the naturals you cannot use. Yeah. The, it's only all full washed. Yeah. Now is only for the washed coffee. Washed coffee. Yeah. And how much quantity, if, or if you think about how much you process washed, how much you make, um, as it's like one third of the, one third uh, of washed, one of one third I of the natural. Exactly because the crop uh, yield varies from year to year. We would say now that the, uh, earlier the demand was for washed coffee. Yeah. Now the trend is for uh, naturals. Mm. People prefer naturals. Yeah. And, uh, they, uh, want the naturals 
because they find the fruit notes and uh, it's uh, better in the cup. Yeah. yeah. Again, again, we go back to the old. <laughs> Like it was yeah, 20, early, 30 early years, years ago, yes. it was all natural. And, uh, yeah. Ecologically, it's also very friendly because there's no water, no yeah. water use, nothing. Mm. So it's just harvest and uh, we sort the greens and the half rice and we put it in the yeah. field. But we have to rake it constantly, we have to rake it so it's turned and evenly dried. Yeah. yeah. There's, some, there's uh, also this kind of opinions of the uh, coffee, coffee dealers or the and the, the ones who is put in a fair house and the roasters, that the, sometimes the natural processed coffee stays, the, it's, the aroma stays longer. If, if you warehouse in it for one year, half a year, mm -hmm. in, a, in a natural process you have, sometimes even it gets better after mm -hmm. a couple of months. Yeah. Like the full aging. wash coffee, yeah, yeah in the aging. full wash coffee, the aging mm. might happen a little bit uh, yeah. faster. We have, uh, uh, we have always stocked our coffee. And we, in the, with, the, with the shell, that is with the parchment and with the skin, and we keep it in good uh, uh, condition where it's quite dry and on wooden dunnage. So we cure it only when there is an order. And we have no problem about aging of the coffee. So, because it's uh, kept uh, in yeah. the right condition. So, even after curing, we keep it in grain throw bags. So there's no air yeah. going mm. it, after curing and uh, we put in a grain throw bag and then into a sack. So after curing also we keep it for uh, a long time. Okay. And uh, you have a like dry mill, for nat naturals you have a dry mill? Uh, You're not milling, here, not, not here, here uh -huh. but in the plains. They do in the yeah. curing company. Uh, curing yeah, the, uh, so you transport it as a, mm. but, uh, and you warehouse it as a, as a berries? Yes, as a dry. As dry, a dry berries. Dry Nice. We continue our tour. So this is the Palmaria State drain field. So they are turning all day long. They are turning the bees that they try equally. So this is natural process coffee. Here we have uh, worst coffee or BSD, so-called honey process. I don't know which one is it. Too far to see. So before this, after the pulping, before the coffee comes to this trying field on the ground, there's uh, elevation beds. So three to four days they use elevation beds. So the air can circle uh, more freely around the coffee beans, so they dry more faster and stop the fermentation process. And after that, it comes to the drying field on the ground and dries until it's dry enough, so about 10 to 12 percent of humidity. Very beautiful spot. So it's uh, the farm, like I said before, it's an organic farm and the Demeter coffee, we, we call it in biodynamic farming methods. And also some old Vedic methods, methods are used here. So there's no, no chemicals, no fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, everything. And they really like practice the old techniques to keep the coffee healthy and the growth good. 22% dry parchment. Dry parchment. Okay, yeah. so they can count the humidity level mm -hmm. because they know the, how much kilos is yeah, lost. Yeah, biting. Two, three tests they will do. Bite oh. test, moisture meter and uh, weight. So the second weight is the pulping, uh, After pulping. pulping meat. Yeah, wet, wet, pulp. wet, wet pulp, that's wet. out. Remove the skin. Skin, uh? yeah. And the pulp. third one? Is the field. This is field number. ED, yeah. ED 2A. Where is Eastern coming? Division. Yeah. Eastern Division. ED 2A. means Eastern Division. 2A. Date of picking. Date of picking, yeah. date of drying. Uh, dry. Because fermenting, no? they did yeah. one day of fermenting and washing. Okay. Then it came then on to the dry. Dry, a couple uh, of days. Dry. Two, day, two days in the uh, elevation bed. Yes, elevation bed. Long. Yeah. Yeah. 
One or two days then. One or two days. And then? Then here. How many days need to stay? Six to seven. Six to seven. Yeah, six to seven. Yeah. And how do you test it's dry enough? You just have with this or do you have a you also have the machine machine yeah you are like this dry ready ah irukna epdi solluvinga yeah i dry in the moisture meter yeah 150 grams they put okay. clean yeah. coffee yeah. clean coffee and it will show the 10 point moisture 10.5 10 to 11 10 to 11 or moisture 10% okay. to 11% it's good it's ready so you are the manager yeah fine yeah. yeah. dry irukkala Okay, it's a. This is our oldest cow, Lakshmi. Old, okay, wow. she's the queen, mm. queen of the cows. So cows are very important yeah. for the okay. coffee farming. For all agriculture. So you come to the bull, madam. But the yard get a bull. Oh, only he can handle. He's the king. Only he can handle it. Mm. He's a cowboy. Yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. He's a cowboy. Yeah. So actually, this. This manoeuvre you do from the cow urine batara, batara. and the milk and the fermentation, it's a Vedic oh, that practices. We do panchagavya. That we do panchagavya. Means, we do means what? Five, five, five ingredients, cow yeah. dung, cow urine, uh, ghee and uh, uh, yogurt. Yeah. And what is the unknown in the... Milk, cow milk, cow's cow milk, yeah. cow's milk. Yeah. all of the products the from the cow. So that we uh, ferment it in certain proportions, and then we dilute it and spray it for the plants. All plants we can apply it, mm. and either as a tonic or as a pest repellent. Yeah. Either way, it acts. It's uh, on and the plants. This this tradition comes from the bio Demeter uh, farming, or is it more like Vedic uh, more cultural? More like um, traditional traditional Tra cultivation. Traditional cultivation practice. Uh -huh. Actually, here we have the cowboy. He can handle the cow. This is the elevation bed system. So they try it in the beginning with the elevation. So the air is uh, possible to circle. So the, basically we have a little bit wind here now. And basically in the daytime. So actually the coffee is drying very well. Because the air is freely circulating around the coffee beans. So this is actually natural, uh, no, no, PS, PSD, so honey processed coffee here. Yeah. Little bit sticky still, but not much. So, as, as told in uh, earlier uh, Papu Matkoissa, so bean journey videos, the, our coffee in Sampokona is mostly hand work. In every state. So actually, here we and we have prefer a making it ourselves. So yeah. What better way than coming to the farm and um, participating in our own coffee making? So this is see. this is actually our coffee next summer. This is the honey process, PSD process coffee on the elevation bed. And Yanni, the, you know, elevation bed, you have to mix it sometime. So now we are a little bit doing this this work. I will also take my share here. Cappuccinos, Americanos, all oh, good. Mm. Actually, it's the, the smell of these beans are... It's very interesting. I, I would say it's a little bit like... They, they're still a little bit sticky. Not totally dried here. They were pulped yesterday evening. It's, um, have, I would describe the smell. It's a little bit like berry and... Uh, Cook bread, quite very like pleasant uh, smell. This beans, it's, it's very nice. And still a little bit sticky. You can see it stays here. So after a couple of days here on the elevation bed, it's not sticky anymore, and then it can go to the ground drying. Good work, Anita. Very nice. So, uh, the air blower. Air blower. Air blower. So sometimes uh, we have, uh, you know, it's very moist. I mean, the air is. Uh, we don't get the sun. Yeah. So we have many days like that. Then we built it so that we can put those trays mm. on this. Ah. And, uh, so instead of raking, 
uh, we can, if this will blow air from underneath. Yeah. And it's like a tunnel. We'll pack it six trays, I think. Six, one, two. Uh, six trays. Yeah. So inside this, this uh, air will blow. And then there okay. will be some uh, dry. Yeah, it's more, then more when wind. Then we rake with a hand again the next uh, swimming. Right? Uh, when it's good. wet outside or uh, with not enough sunshine, uh, we can't lose our coffee. You know? mm. So yeah. at every stage, we have to think of different. This yeah. I bought. I bought second hand. Yeah. Somebody was selling it in Chikmanglo, they were not using it. Then I asked somebody around there, very good uh, industrial blowers. Yeah. This, is, this is actually, when, when you heat up, the, when if you use this kind of mechanical dryer that you use the mm. fire to heat up, it might a little bit give taste to the coffee. Mm. But this is actually very safe for the... Only air, no, yeah. no heat. No yeah, this is very good. Yeah. It's uh, like a natural wind yeah. and it doesn't change the... Change the taste of the coffee. At the end, the end of the season, we have uh, some coffee with a lot of husk. It's called second, second parchment. We have a lot of uh, skin, mm. so we place it uh, here, and then it will, uh, like winnowing, like winnowing, it will remove the skin and give ah. it just the parchment. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that, like yeah. you know, they do winnowing. Then only the grain falls, exactly. and then the wind will yeah. carry away the mm. exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that we use it at the end. So we have some coffee drying beyond this. Yeah. See here. That yeah. is the second, the second parchment. So okay. behind this, Over so there, all that yeah. will at the end, we will, you know, remove oh. the skin with this. Otherwise, before they used to do it manually. Yeah, manually. Yeah. Yeah. Since they have this, they use it. Yeah. Anti-tilanda. Anti-tilanda. So what they're doing there? Actually, they. They take a moisture test of the samples that uh, is removing the husk from the coffee and they have moisture testers here <coughs> to, to see if the coffee dry enough. So Palmaris, they also have their own temple here. And also they have own church for the workers. It's located here nicely next to the river. Okay. The work day is ending here in Palmari estate. So the, the pickers of coffee are getting, getting back to their homes. And they seem to have a lot of energy, I would say. Uh, definitely they have a lot of energy. Running back to their home, maybe there's a good food or chai tea waiting. And they have a little bit, have a chat with the farmer. Very nice. It's very beautiful here. So now it's actually the picking time. And they don't have to carry all the... They don't have to carry all the coffee. So the coffee is coming here and now it goes to the palloping field. Uh, actually, the farmer lady have not been here in a while, so the workers are very happy to see see her. Uh, so actually, this estate is located uh, next to the uh, river or steam, and they, what they how they take the water because they don't want to use electricity to pump the water. Uh, for use the for, uh, for washing and fermentating uh, so they actually have a pipe on the up upstream and it comes naturally as a uh, with the natural pressure to to use to the farm and this is actually for uh, you can see electric fence here it's because there's so much uh, elephants here who 
actually they they don't like coffee so much but they eat all the other fruits they like it a lot and sometimes they even tear down the houses so because this farm is located next to the national park called silent valley so there's actually nothing there where the camera is pointing now it's just the national park so that's why the air water nature soil is very clean here and also because they do demeter and organic they want to keep the nature clean So what happens here now is uh, uh, the pickers, they finish their work day and they, they have collected their own, own berries. And now, because always when you pick the berries, uh, there's always some... So basically they try to collect all the ripe berries so that are ready and red. But sometimes when you pick the berries, they will be always like under the berry, it might be green green a little bit like this so they have to take the un unripe berries a little bit green berries they take it out it's good this one is good is there? okay that was not good ah, okay I, I, I come here to help a little bit something Actually, this, this person has to pick up very carefully, so there's not actually how much screen. This one maybe? Yeah. So it's already quite well ribbon red berries and big Arabica berries. So the problem if there's a lot of uh, different kind of stages of uh, ripening the berries red one and green ones you, you have uh, <coughs> problems with the in, in the roasting in the aromas that's why it's separately okay I, I, I start to help this person you have been working for a long day so we will finish this day Okay, hey, we are we are almost finished with this lady here. Yeah, we don't have a common language. And for me, I think about like the for me it's like a miracle. One cup of coffee. How much effort and work is to be done to get one cup of coffee? So if, if you think about it, so I think it's good when you have your cup of coffee, have a quite a lot of presence and uh, create, uh, gratefulness. Because it's some sort of miracle with all after all this process, it's there. So if you take one one berry, in a, in one berry, we have basically two seeds. So we call coffee beans. Two coffee beans in in this one arabica cherry. Uh, and one one bean is about 0 0.2 grams. And it means ten. Berries is about two grams, if I calculate correctly. And uh, in 50, 50 seeds, we have 10 grams. Maybe I'm still correctly. And so we need to make one espresso. We need almost 100 beans. So actually 50, 50 berries to make one ex espresso. <laughs> so 50 berries to make one espresso. If you make 10, 20 grams shot, double, double shot. If you make single shot, you make, maybe it's like 
25 berries is enough to have one coffee and how much effort is done to have good cup of coffee mm. so in my point of view it's better to drink less and good coffee that is when we give respect to the product So manager, how does it look? <laughs> Calculating? Calculating. Then worker. All, oh, how name. many? Worker name. Worker name. Mm. Uh -huh. Today, uh, picking worker name. Okay. How many kilos one worker in one day? Oh. Yeah. Oh, here is actually some on a crew is also working, making her own espressos. So, I think one worker is collecting one bag, the, the manager ran away. So it's about probably 30, 40 kilos. I, I, I asked the... I asked the farmer itself, mm -hmm. how many kilos one uh, picker collects in a day, mm -hmm. work day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many kilos they collect for uh, the berries? Uh, it depends on the field. If it's a good field, you can pick more. And if there is not much crop, then you'll pick less. Uh, it's like a one, one big bag? Uh, 35 to 40 kilos. 35 to 40 kilos. Eight hours. Work. Yeah, about eight. Yeah. They start at eight and finish. Oh, not uh, late. They start later. So later, nine. They finish uh, a little earlier also because the sorting time is there, you know. Okay. So, so nine to three, six hours, five yeah, hours. Between. Yeah, five okay. hours. In between lunch and all that. So. Okay. They they collect very very well because there's not so much yeah, like so uh, under, a, only a little bit. Yeah, very. Uh, Think about if you collect 30 kilos and you have only this amount yes, of yes, uh, green yes. ones. Yeah. Good work. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how is Sampo gonna crew here doing? She's repairing her espresso drinks next summer. <laughs> In Sampo bicycle we will be actually like serving self-made coffee. coffee. She, she's a good picker. We didn't find many any green uh, berries or, or anything no. unwanted. Yeah. So, good coffee we're using. Yeah, I noticed the same. They pick very... Uh, yeah, very uh, well, carefully? Carefully. Very careful work. Mm. Okay. So this is the... Now we have the green ones here, uh, no, red ones here, and separately taking the, the bad ones, like green ones. They, they will use the green ones also, but it will se separate patch. And now we go to the pulping after this. <laughs> I asked the, asked the farmer. So, Unna, is there, so they get the salary by the weight? No. No, no. They get the same salary. So, no commission. But if they increase above some 40, 50 kilos, they get more. Like a bonus. Each, okay. um, the beginning of the season is not possible. Then the peak season, no? Now, yeah. From now is the peak season. So he will set a target. Maybe you must pick up about those 40 kilos. Then those uh, the number of kilos over that target, mm. they will give them uh, oh, yeah. per kilo. So, okay. Yeah. But normally uh, everybody gets the same salary and little more for uh, extra kilos. Extra. Yeah. Otherwise it's not fair. They will pick all rubbish and then we yeah. have to pick sort here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that yeah. doesn't work for us. No, no. But I, I noticed a lot of the pickers, they are actually a little bit like older people, like senior. Is it difficult to get the young people for this? 
So the youngsters, they don't come. Yeah, yeah I see one one young girl is here. Yeah, I just saw yeah. today, so I'm happy to see her. There are many like that when they get married and go over. But if they get married and come here as a bride, then um, it's yeah. good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The That's, yeah. husband is working here and he brings his wife. Then it's good like that. Uh, then they lady. come every year, the uh, same people. It's best, yeah. best for you. For them also because it's a steady life, you know, it's mm -hmm. very healthy. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so basically, people come from this was the young girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so, the, waiting to look for us. <laughs> yeah, um, so. They, they come from the nearby village? Yeah. Nearby yeah some yeah. of them go back walking. They come from two, three villages here. Yeah? yeah. One village is very close, so they will just run down the slope. Very close by uh, their terms. By our terms, it is still far. So that village, they will just run down. Then uh, uh, one village, uh, we give the vehicle to take them back. Two, two, two villages we give. Okay. Vehicle to take them back. In the okay. morning, we bring them and then take them back. So then they can save time. Mm. And you know, the elephant uh, this thing is also there. Yeah. So, you know, if they go late, then the elephants will be there. They get scared, that's they oh run, yeah. they fall. Yeah. And that's, so when mm. they go as a group, at least there's some protection. Mm. Mm. That's good. Looks like they are hurrying home to probably cook yeah. food. But it's good you have the same people every, some of the people is the same every year. You don't have to train the pickers for... Ah, yeah, people so. have joined recently, so we have to train them. Most of them are actually... It's, it's excellent. We need, more, we need yeah. about uh, 15 to 20 people more. He has asked them all to come in. Okay. Order, because you see it's all dark. Mm. Yeah, it's, I, I was looking, it's red. quite... Uh, yeah, so uh, it's red all, red all the fields are ready now. Yeah. yeah. We, we don't know when that happens, no? so mm. <laughs> we can't predict. And uh, we tried bringing from North India, uh, from far away places, it doesn't work. Okay. Because there, they used to a different system of uh, mm -hmm. picking, mm -hmm. where they pick by the kilo. They paid uh, so many rupees, so they'll pick 100 kilos, 200 kilos. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we can't do that. Yeah. We can only pick the ripe berries. Yeah. So yeah. there is a lot of hesitancy to come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they get only fixed yeah. wages. Which is good. I mean, good. Yeah, yeah, but but they uh, but they used to thinking like that. So yeah, it's yeah. Difficult it's difficult to, difficult change, to change their, their way, way of they thinking. Think, yeah. uh, they will get more by the kilo. Yeah. Whatever they pick, they still pay them mm. this basic yeah. and more if they pick. And then the quality is mm. is mess up. So yeah, a lot of the farms I think in the many areas they just take like. Every year comes different people to pick up the... Yeah, whoever well, comes, uh, they just have to get the, pick, get the coffee off the plant. Yeah. Mm. And then, because nobody's paying them anything for the premium. So whatever yeah. it is, it's the same price. Yeah. Yeah. So why make an effort to become special? Yeah, yeah, this is the best option that they come nearby village. So then they don't have to come from somewhere hundreds of kilometers away. <laughs> So actually, in Palmadi they have a, this tradition that every guest, when he's coming, he will plant a tree. It's a very nice tradition. I want to show you some, some interesting stuff here. So actually, this is not dried uh, coffee tree or anything. Dried coffee tree. Actually, it's, this is um, like um, cinnamon plant leaves. And under this, this gives this one, these dry leaves, they give shadow for the small baby coffee Arabica plant. So that is here. Maybe the camera you cannot see. So here we have a here we have a new coffee coffee plant here. What is this? This is not coffee. No, no you can see this is coffee. So actually it's like the smart. So no plastic needed to give shadow because when the coffee plant is very small the strong sun is too much for it, so it needs shadow. So if you don't have enough shadow trees, like in this spot, you don't have so much shadow trees. Uh, they put like this, they give shadow for the for the plant to grow a little bit stronger. It's very, very nice system. So you can see a lot of... So this area, they will now, they have planted already the new shadow trees, maybe five years back or something. 
so start to have a little bit growth of shadow trees and then now they are put uh, probably this this year they did put this baby arabicas here to grow so you can see everywhere arabicas so it takes three three to four years time to have uh, berries from this arabica plants Okay. Now also Sambogone crew, mm -hmm. bean traveler is uh, actually planting one. Jack, jackfruit. One jackfruit. So how many years we have to wait to get some jackfruit? <laughs> Ten years. Ten years? Ten years. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I get hungry before that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mr. Coffee Bean planting his very first fig tree. And he loves figs, so what a coincidence. You put your gene copy here. Okay. And then the plant will copy my yeast. So it will see if I have some illnesses, so, mm. so it will, the fix that will come will be perfect for me to heal myself. Oh, and okay. perfect nutrition. Okay. 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 Wow. This is from Anastasia book. Okay. 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 <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. I'm the genes and the saliva are on your genes. We didn't know that. And on the climbing and you got to take like, okay. <laughs> They say also when you because you press it with your own hands, ah. then it's also for your hands. Okay. It can copy the energy, energy. of the okay. and the person. Okay. Yeah, the person who is putting. So now a farmer also put the one fig tree here. Jack Jack fruit. So perfect start for the new year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Actually, the thing is that whatever you plant here, the deers and the other wild animals, they come to eat it next night. So everything has to be protected. So they actually plant more than 100 shadow trees every year. Because the storms, storms are taking down a lot of the old trees and then also the animals eat the new ones. So it's like constant work and battle to grow enough shadow trees here. Okay, so we are going to town. To Actually, we need some spices for for Samba Bicycle. Uh, next summer uh, festivals and events, we want to give you good spicy chai and good spicy desserts so we will go there to buy some organic spices because this area is famous for the good spices so 
We came here to the Luxby Hardware Store. Actually, it's like a supermarket. So we, we have to deal our tickets to to night bus to get get back home, back back, back to Karnataka Kurungula. Hello, Namaste. And find some spices. So our driver will take us to spice shop. Oh, very nice. Ota näitä viisi syömässä, jos se lasket niin kuin niin, joo. Okei. You can not only live with healthy food and uh, coffee, so sometimes you have to buy this kind of an Indian bakery stuff that is actually like full power with sugar. So, this is the traditional bakery in India. We, we love these places. We, we love India. It's just so amazing place and people is, people is good. Yeah. It's, is it good one? Is the best one? Best one. Okay, then that one. Is this pure... Pure Arabica? Ah, oh, that's good. Okay. From here, from Guralu? I mean, from the mountains here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Great. So, you're roasting here? You're roasting here? So, you're a local coffee roaster up here. Is this? Oh, it does. Okay, because we can see Indian roasting machine. Looks, looks like a strong machine. And it's also fixed very well. So. Burners here. Okay. What what happens here in India? They basically roast with these super old machines. Yeah. They roast yeah. actually the. Oh, hey, wow. oh thank you. So something something here in. Some, something here in Palmadi estate that you you really don't have to. Because we have a master chef here who is cooking amazing food. So, what, what is this today? Co uh, banana. Banana center. Yeah. So it's the center of banana the banana tree. Center of the banana tree, mixed to lentils. Um, this, uh, this onion. Uh, green, green chili. Green chili. This is this wine. Okay. Is, so is this like a corn? Uh, okay. Or is this buckwheat maybe? Okay. okay. Oh, looks delicious. And do the jira. Jira. Last jira is yeah. powder. Powder. Jira powder last time. Mm -hmm. And and this what this was? Mmm, mm, good smell. And today we have also dosas and we have idlis in the morning and oh, so many good stuff. Coconut chutney. Uh, so it's actually like the... Chamba. Chamba, yeah. So he's the man who is keeping people in a good shape. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good morning. We are having morning walk here in Palamadi estate. Temperature was 9 degrees in the night time. So actually it's very cold. Uh, so what we find, ah, we find a civet cat shit. But actually it's not shit anymore because it's a precious treasure. Uh, so it's a precious shit. Uh, it's a coffee beans that the civet cat have eaten. So it's it's like a luvak coffee basically. Very precious, one of the most expensive coffee. So what we have here is wild civet cat organic biodynamic 
coffee beans holy shit <laughs> This is all formed. How long this have been here? I think they put it in in September. Or, oh, the date is here. On uh, oh. the 2nd of October, I think. Okay. And these cow horns you cannot use oh, again? Oh, we use it every you, year. Okay, no, so you use, saw use the same cow horn. The same horn is used year after year. Yeah. Oh. And then, what was the name of the manoeuvre? Uh, it's called BD500. BD. Uh, biodynamic, that's the first preparation, preparation number one. Then we, this is all good, good. Uh, see, there was cow dung inside. Now it is not falling out and the smell, mm, it smells good. Mm, yeah, so when, like a fresh soil. Yeah, very, very fresh. fresh. So after another few months, if you just tap it, it will come like this shape. And this horn is solid here. Only till here we have filled it. This top portion is... Uh, so this is the biodynamic farm. One of the biodynamic farm um, basic methods what they use is like a cow horn uh, maneuver. And it's used also for pesticides. Pesticides to keep the pesticides. Uh -huh. So they bury, they bury the cow horn into the earth. And what is inside the cow horn? And the cow dung. Cow dung. The cow dung that is from the mother, which is uh, feeding the calf. That is from a lactating cow. Yeah. So all the beneficial hormones are there in the milk and for the calf and in the cow dung, and we use that. So the beneficial hormones are also there in the excreta. Uh -huh. So that is put into the uh, cow horn. So we stuff it in and then the cow horn is placed like this. So the open, it is open to the soil. Uh -huh. The base is open to the soil. Then we fill it with the earth and compost. So it's cool all the time. We keep watering it so it's damp. And uh, this is built like this. So the roots of plants don't come here mm. and take away the energy. Mm. Otherwise, they will come and yeah, take away. Good, <laughs> take good, away good this. growth. Yeah, good. <laughs> so it's, a, it's some some sort of fermentation is happening. There yeah, also. over about yeah. six months it takes. We put it in in September or October. We even harvest it in March. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is it important that it's inside the cow horn? Ah, because the horn, uh, they say, for the cow is an organ of digestion. It is connected to the uh, moon and to the planets. Mm. So that is why it is, you know, up here and it is uh, an organ of digestion. So similarly, the, we put the cow dung in it. So it will digest the cow dung and give it to us like humus. Mm -hmm. It will be digested uh, cow dung. And that is what, that is, what is called BD500 or uh, horn, uh, cow horn manure. And we apply about 25 grams of that per acre. We stir it for one hour, clockwise and then anti-clockwise, mm -hmm. and uh, sprinkle it over the uh, soil. Okay, we get a little bit here in Palomari excited about the Luwak civet cat coffee. So we are now collecting and we have a little bit <laughs> with, the, with the farmer we are here. <laughs> so can we see in the back how much we have Luwak coffee? <laughs> We have a little bit, couple of cups here. So organic Luwak, uh, Demeter, fresh, fresh, fresh coffee. coffee. The cat's choice. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard work because you you have to find the cat poo. So it's a, it's not a job that you do every day.
uh, and it's basically collected one bean at a time. But Janita is so excited about this, <laughs> this <laughs> shit. <laughs> anyway, it's a uh, probably you can buy some special cafeterias, 20 euros, 15 euros, one cup. Makes sense the price. I'm not so big fan of it with uh, about the taste, but. Maybe I have to give another shot after this. Probably take a little bit with us home. So I have a very experienced, uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. you know, coffee people now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Kilo ikram. Oh my no, my man. Very 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 mad. Ten. Very mad. Very mad. So this is the hard work they have to do. So as you can see their hands are a little bit faster than my hands. My one, two, three. And you have to leave the green ones. You have to leave. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so oh, I drop one. That's gone. And also the drop ones they have to clean in the end of the harvest because you cannot leave it there because it will attract all the uh, like uh, unwanted animals, powder. The, Okay, yes, yeah, she, she is most faster. Up. Okay. And as you can see, the, it's quite sharp uh, angle. It's the, the hill is quite strong, so it's not so easy to stay here. But they, they are used to it, so the, for them it's not a problem. Actually, considering their age, they are very healthy people. If you look in the West, the same age people, probably they are not as healthy and well-being as these people here, yeah, so it's not so bad job. Couple of here. <laughs> okay. Okay, probably we collected now a couple of espresso drinks here. Monkey parment. Mm. So what I, I like in Palmade. All round. Uh, you collect them. Checking. Yeah. With one, two yeah. monkey parchment. Collecting. Yeah. So it's the same guy who is cooking perfect meals. Excellent chef. Also supervisor. And collecting the beans. It is what I like in Palmade is that, that everybody is doing everything. So you're a supervisor but you're also picking coffee. 37 levers picking. Yeah. All around going, going. going. No, uh, no uh, ripe doors. Yeah, green ones. Clear one, yeah. Clear one, clear one. Ripe ones only. Going up, going down, going up, going. Yeah. Uh, inside going. Moving. Yeah, and you mm, supervise. Any, any lady. Yeah. Uh, clear, clear work, clear work, clear work. Yeah. And it's very good at the same time no, you no. collect the uh, monkey parchment. Oh, actually they call in India monkey parchment, but it, the monkeys, if they eat this, they will bite the beans. So monkey. they will be posed. Uh, it is a civet cat. A cat. Cat, 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 cat parchment. Uh, this, I am named forest cat. Yeah. Jungle cat. Yeah. Uh, it's a, uh, they call in Indonesia as a lubak cat. Oh, lubak. Yeah, so it's a uh, same species of lubak. Okay. Very expensive coffee. Oh, nice. Very, oh. Uh, only um, full. Uh, fully mm. uh, red, full red, eating. Yeah, eat. It. Yeah, ah, they okay. eat only full this, red. No, this is no. Yeah, this no. They don't eat this and because this, it's no. green. This no. Understand. Green. Yes. The one down collecting. I Collect. collecting. Good. And now we have a little bit. Civet cat, lova coffee oh, here. Civet cat. Yeah. Sure. And then washing. So one day full. Water. 
water, one day four, water. One day, four, yeah. uh, next full complete washing. Okay. Uh, but clear, perfect. Need try. Uh, try? I'll try uh, one, two, three days. In elevation. Okay. Elevation. Okay. And then curing. Curing. Yeah. Curing. Ah. So then we monkey parts, man. So then we have Test, the most tested. expensive coffee in the world. Okay. If you like it, probably I don't know. Daily collecting. <laughs> I, I have no opinion. Uh, over one um, lady full collecting. Oh. Well, one lady is collecting so, all the time. Area, full full day. Day. One lady. Oh. Going, going, going. Oh. Full round. So one one person uh, have full time. Area, time. No. Yeah. No uh, monkey parchment. Over slow monkey parchment uh, today. This one day, uh, three, four catch. Ah, two, 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 three kilos in a day. This mm. one lady is collecting this coffee when because he's doing all day long and he knows where the cats are hanging around in the night time, so then they find it good. Oh, I am. Like, you don't have to do so much effort here. In this spot, you have good shadow trees, you have the river. So then the plants are uh, naturally healthy. Naturally healthy. The conditions are ideal. The conditions are. Uh, so, so here you basically only have to do a little bit uh, handling, handling them, yeah. and maneuvering in the couple of days a year. Yeah, it's like a jungle. No, no we don't uh, manure every year, every two years. Okay. Uh, they, they have to produce so much to men, men and give a compost yeah. every year. So it's every two years or something. We give okay, so this grows almost like a wild, wild coffee. Almost, wild yeah. coffee. So with a lot of leaf, yeah. leaf litter and uh, animal movement. So yeah. that takes care of uh, nutrition. But this also makes makes sense in my, my mind that... Uh, Okay, you produce less coffee, mm -hmm. about 50% less than the normal yeah, yeah. normal farm. But still, you know, you have no causes. You don't have to you have to, you don't have to buy fertilizers to this most most of the spots. Yeah. You don't have to buy pesticides. You basically are self-sustainable yes. here. And we also create uh, the atmosphere or the en uh, environment so that it can be self-sustaining. That is you plant the right kind of trees and then uh, uh, so they have enough shade and then of course the animal movement is also there so it helps yeah. the small animal movement so that uh, the poo from those animals give it a natural manure it, it, uh, it decomposes over a period of time yeah. so. you can hear the trees it's also it's full of life this place I uh, full hear the birds, birds yeah. yeah we cannot hear the trees yet <laughs> we are not so sensitive <laughs> <laughs> well, that is another <laughs> we try to reach that level, but we are not, not yet there. And this is a typical uh, 795, where the new leaves are copper in color. Mm, they are, mm. It's a good good aroma, mm. S795. Mm. Kent, both both are actually respected good. in the coffee yeah. world, okay. so mm -hmm. so it's good. But I, I didn't know the Kent is like because it's the that's the root species the yes, Kent yes. and uh, yes. seven nine five is a little bit uh, developed, developed yeah from the Kent, from the Kent yes, yeah yes. so yes. I didn't know the root species yes. actually give more shadow to himself yes. so it's a natural yes. protection yeah, for this may have, water. they may have developed this because of the you know the nature of the, the structure of the plant may give you better yield. Because the branches go out, you may get mm. better yield. But with time, it is more prone to stem borer because it's exposed. And here's here, I see like, because this is more like a wild area of the yeah. of the plantation. The coffee trees are much bigger. Yes. Like when we are near the house, yeah. it's much more smaller. Yeah. Is there yeah, some reason yeah, you? The varieties also. This is the sel uh, selection seven nine five. That will be Catimore. Catimore. That will be oh. Catimore. And then you keep it small in uh, purpose. Yeah, we uh, it doesn't grow very tall, and we also keep pruning it. Okay. So the 
main problem is the shortage of workers. So the pickers are difficult to get yeah. every year. Every year uh, the harvest is at uh, the same time. So all, all uh, farms are, you know, uh, in need of hands. So there's a great demand for, for more work. hands. So. And the young people move to cities. But they're coming back. There's a, oh. there's a slow trend. They're coming back. Because uh, the quality of life, they realize with time. Initially, the bright city lights and uh, are more attractive in several ways. But with time, they are coming back. Because you find uh, quite a few younger workers. Yeah. Here. And it's uh, like we talk in the evening time, have a long, long chat here. Mm. We see like sometimes if you look at the people here mm -hmm. who live here in the nature, do this work. Mm -hmm. And it's a seasonal work, and anyway, they work every day in the nature. Mm -hmm. they, in the, even in the old age, they, they, are, they are very healthy and quite satisfied, satisfied people in that sense that if you, sometimes the, the easy life, it's not, it doesn't give you a healthy life or it doesn't give you also a happy life. So it, it, the work and the nature is the people and nature is balanced here. Yeah. We are working with nature and in nature. So always your feet are in touch with the soil and your hands are with the plants and the air you breathe is clean. So you may not realize it, but it is adding years mm. to your, you know, to your life. So the immediate benefits you may not realize, but uh, it is there. Yeah, the neon. Yes, yeah, so if there's any volunteer want to come work here, it's a good place to practice how to do organic and how to do biodynamic farming. Just come here, they give you shelter and give you, give you food and you can learn. And also you are surrounded by very good people. <laughs> we are part of nature and yeah. I think so that comes naturally. <laughs> So now we are on the edge of the Palamadi estate. So this river is the border river. So there's yeah. many rivers here. Very beautiful spot. Here is the pulper that we actually, they don't use it so much because mostly do sun dry it, but of course they do honey, PSD and wasp, so more than they use the pulper. They have some experiment going on here, so let's go to look some new innovations. Awesome. And our samples are also getting ready here. So we get a little bit samples so we can we can take it with us to Finland. Easier like this to carry in a bag it in your luggage than to post it with all the papers included. So now the parchment is taken off by hand. Hello. So this is another cherry coffee, a natural process. A little bit hard work. And then it's hand sorted here. So they take the black ones out. Broken beans off. And is that it's done manually. Ah, Unna, you said you have some experiment going on. So what was the experiment? Ah, yeah, yeah. We have got the two small, in small, small nut we have washed and that is now, it is uh, there uh, for fermenting. Okay. We stamped it in the morning, stamped it in the evening and then uh, we will uh, wash it in the evening. Another lot we will wash it tomorrow. Okay. So less time and more time fermenting. 
Okay, it's testing. Uh, How does it inf- influence? The taste. So we will cup it. And yeah. whichever taste is better, we will do. When we need to do washed coffee, we will. Okay. So future years, we will have some new new taste coming. Let's see. You always. Every year, uh, it depends on the seasonal changes. Yeah. So we have to adjust the fermenting time. So. It's for everlasting uh, learning process. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every day is a learning process. There's nothing uh, mechanical about it. <laughs> Every day is learning and interesting. So. You look like a commando. Huh? You look like a commando with that. <laughs> so, the the bean travelers, bean travelers are here. I'm missing the Palmari estate a lot because it's so nice, nice there, beautiful place, beautiful people. What a hospitality you can only experience in India, it's amazing. And uh, the nature, the earth, it's, it's nice there, it's perfect place to, to be and uh, per- perfect, perfect place to good coffee. Anyway, always time to move on and we are heading to another, uh, we have two loves in our lives. Uh, coffee, coffee and yoga, so next stop is the Yoga Guru Gula. So we have we we kept okay this this it's in the traffic. So okay. So we are heading to Kurungula and. Uh, we found this very nice night bus. Actually, in this developing, you have this. Uh, I didn't even think about having this kind of buses a couple of years ago. And so now we are traveling with Swedish Volvo here, and probably in the morning we are there. Now we are in a city called Mysore, uh, also very famous for the yoga and uh, and the palace. Any any summit for the trip, Janita? Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm missing Balmari already. What a beautiful place. Just yeah, beautiful. L- l- I'm a little bit speechless. Maybe I don't have any anything to say. We're in Mysore now. <laughs> <laughs> Mysore is old hometown for Janita, so she lived here one year. So it's um, yeah, it's a homecoming. She maybe to the bus stand. Yeah, homesick. Uh, now we cure that illness also. Oh, yeah. So the captain is parking the putting the bus into the park uh, park, and we take a small rest, and then we continue. And the bean travelers, the bean travelers, even if we go to do yoga and try to go to the uh, cosmic experience, we, we come back to the coffee and the bean traveling. So next stop in in four, three weeks, we go to Chikamakaluru, that is our own spot. So there is uh, some nice farmers there and good coffee. Here. Also have used, uh, so it will be interesting to go there also. Maybe we make some summary video, something about that also. Uh, anyway, interesting. Thank you. Yeah, the commander is the tribe.